The next thing I want to talk about is the, um, the new style temperature sensors. When they first came out with the after treatment on the H71 and the early 2250, there was a, uh, there's three temperature sensors in the uh, diesel particulate filter and there's two in the SCR brick. And those were separate probes and each one had a two pin plug on the end of its harness. And then it plugged into the after treatment harness and then that would go up to the uh, ECM on the early units via or via the after treatment controller. Now, if it was an 871, then they plugged right into the harness and the ECM had pins that took a look at those probes to see what the ohms reading were on them. Because that's all that changes when the temperature changes is the uh, ohm reading. I think they're negative coefficient. But anyway, so as time went on, they wanted to make, they wanted to clean up the wiring and try and cut down on wiring problems and, and wire. So they ran those probes, the temperature probes, into a module. And I just call it modula, modularized temperature probes. There's a module that bolts on the DPF, and it has three probes, and it measures inlet CAD temp, and then inlet DO, DPF temp, and then outlet DPF temp. And then there is a two-pin or sensor probe that bolts on the uh, SCR brick, and it measures across the SCR brick. And it, uh, two leads go into one module, and the modules are bolted on brackets that bolt onto those, those big elements. On the unitized after treatment, and that's the newer style we'll talk about in the, in the near future, where you have what looks like one after treatment brick and everything is in that brick, there are four leads, uh, temperature leads that go into the probe a module, uh, four probes that go into the module, I should say. And uh, one of those, if, when you're looking at the data logger, it still reads catalyst inlet, DOC or uh, DPF inlet, DPF outlet, SCR inlet, SCR outlet. On the modular, the DPF outlet and SCR inlet temperature are the same probe. So you'll see those two lines showing exactly the same temperature. They mirror each other. And it's, uh, until you figure that out, it confused me anyway. So uh, once I took a look underneath at the real world, then I understood what they were doing. So uh, let's take a quick look at this and then I will be done. These probes are no different than the other ones, short of the processing power is done in a module back there and it just reports up on a data bus to the ECM. And here's the module with the three probes on it. This is the one that would bolt on to the diesel particulate filter. And those probes do have to go in a designated place or the numbers will read backwards and cause you fault codes and D rates and everything else. But it's pretty easy and if you bolt it on the way you take the old one off, uh, you really can't make a mistake. The, the leads would look really not right if you did. And it's a, uh, this is the plug from the, that goes up to the ECM, four pin again, data bus and a uh, ground and a feed. Here's your tag on the back. The part number is there. Uh, look up the part number for these. Don't think that one fits all because that's not the case. Make sure you get the right part number. And there's another view. None of those sensors unplug. So if you damage one of those leads by accident, you have to replace the module. I've had a couple of these fail. And what has happened is they didn't stop working, but one of the temperature probes would stop reading correctly or, or go out of range. Uh, sometimes it's a problem with the, uh, the actual module itself. I don't think it's the probe itself. I think it's the module. So yeah, uh, we keep one of them in stock all the time uh, for um, each of the units. There's one for the SCR brick, one for the DPF. And there, again, it depends on the generation of the engine. I think the, the modular after treatment has a different one again. Uh, 12 and 24 volt, I believe that does make a difference. So again, look at your part numbers.
Thanks for joining me. See you next time.